Some restaurant owners say there is no way to survive as restrictions ease on June 1st. The state outlined a plan to ease restrictions for restaurants and other gathering spots. Dining is limited to outdoor seating only with social distancing and no more than 50 customers at a time. Reservations are also required. The move took some restaurants by surprise. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily spoke with owners about how they'll try to move forward. Outdoor patio seating is added to curbside and to go, but it's a gut punch for many restaurants who are relying on some indoor seating. Honestly, a little disappointed, but it's something. It's a start. Stephanie Shimp said they can at least begin making plans for blue plate restaurants. They hope to add picnic tables to parking lots and set up at the Lowry, like what's done at Groveland Tap, but it will still be tough. The fact that we won't be inside and we have such unpredictable weather in Minnesota really is going to make staffing, uh, you know, like. A puzzle. She said restaurants need more support, and Hospitality Minnesota agrees, saying many will be left behind during this phase of Stay Safe Minnesota. Lucy's Burgers in White Bear Township said the new directive will lead to closures and lost jobs. It can definitely accommodate 50 people. While others are making plans to start serving outdoors, like El Burrito Mercado. Heather Asbury never dreamed of opening her namesake restaurant during a pandemic, but that's what happened. We went right into to go business, which I guess it's just kind of all we know at this point in time. For her, the model is working. We'll do, um, a Customers use the walk up window. And she hopes to get patio plans approved before it's allowed on June 1st, fast forwarding future plans. We've always wanted to put a patio up back. Um, the outside space in our back is actually larger than our physical restaurant. But for so many, times remain tough and day to day. We're not making it. No, we are just squeaking by and really trying to. Wait it out. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. The state is encouraging cities to work with restaurants to help them expand outdoor dining space into parking lots or adjacent green spaces.